Hey y'all, TRG here, and welcome to another Urgent Update video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the potential for major hurricane barrel to form over the next 36 hours, as well as the potential for major hurricane impacts over the southern Lesser Antilles. Let's go right into today's video. Like I said, this is an Urgent Update, so there will be no edits. This is a current look at Tropical Storm Barrel, as it is currently located a couple hundred miles to the east of the southern Lesser Antilles, and is currently beginning its rapid intensification phase that will continue into the late portion of tomorrow night where it will eventually hit the Lesser Antilles as a Category 3 major hurricane. So let's go ahead and take a quick look here at your infrared satellite imagery as well just to show you the explosive development of this cyclone. So this is a rapidly intensifying storm. It may look very disorganized now, but don't let that deceive you. It is going to rapidly organize. That's what all of our models are showing. Our hurricane models are now correct. The National Hurricane Center agrees with this becoming a major hurricane. This will be a historic system and is already a historic system for the location and the time frame of this system forming but now for the potential of a major hurricane to form in late June which is absolutely crazy. The first hurricane of this season should become a major hurricane. Absolutely crazy. So here is your uh, ensemble, super ensemble plots here. Let me just pull this back for you guys. I was looking at this myself before I started recording and you can see that this is moving right towards the southern Lesser Antilles. Maybe Maybe staying just barely north of the Trinidad and Tobago area, but Trinidad and Tobago, I would be ready for tropical storm, potentially low end hurricane impacts out there. But it should stay in the southern Lesser Antilles and then move up towards portions of Jamaica as well. So there's a lot of uncertainty beyond Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that model spread. It's really the exact same as when I last talked to you guys. It looks like right around that longitude of uh, 70 degrees there, that's where we start to have a lot of uncertainty right in this general area here. Uh, there's just a lot of uncertainty on exactly where that system's going to go. You'll see that in the National Hurricane Center cone here in just a second. But this should head towards, I personally believe, the Yucatan Peninsula. There's a lot of model run uncertainty here. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Uh, so I suggest that if you're anywhere along the Gulf Coast line, anywhere in this area, you need to monitor the potential for tropical storm barrel to impact your area. Now, I don't think this will last uh, more more than a hurricane beyond J Jamaica, I think it's going to weaken to at least a tropical storm, probably even a depression, maybe even dissipating by the time it gets towards the Yucatan Peninsula uh, once it moves west of Jamaica. So we'll be keeping a really, really, really close eye on that. Uh, here is the National Hurricane Center. We'll go over to their cone. There is your National Hurricane Center cone. Currently, it is a tropical storm, rapid intensification into a hurricane and then eventually into a major hurricane. Now they have this for Sunday at 8 p.m. It's currently Currently, of course, Saturday. So like I said, it should turn into a major hurricane late tomorrow night. So this should be a tropical storm now. It is a Category 1 hurricane by the time, probably by the time we do our uh, live tropical update around 4 o'clock Eastern tonight. Category 2 tomorrow morning and afternoon. Category 3 tomorrow night, making a major hurricane impact landfall over the southern Lesser Antilles right around 8 a.m. on Monday morning, progressing up to the northwest, weakening into a Category 2 for Jamaica. And then a category one is it's south of Cuba. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on this forecast beyond this time. There's a lot of uncertainty, and you can see it in the cone. See how big the cone gets here? There is a lot of uncertainty on exactly where the system will go beyond, uh, you know, south of uh, the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. So we'll be keeping a very, very close eye on that. Uh, before we continue, I know I did this a little bit late. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're new. Share this video with your family, friends, social media so we can help get the word out about Tropical Storm and eventually Major Hurricane Barrel. Let's go right on back into today's video. Here's the GFS model. I don't have too many other products lined up, so you guys will have to bear with me whilst I get those up while looking at this stuff. So deterministic GFS model run. Uh, it has it becoming about a category three hurricane high in cat two low in category three hurricane as it goes over the southern lesser antilles and then eventually making its way up towards dominican republic where we will switch over to this tab here so you can see there's barrel and it actually look at that it actually brings down the millibar by one south of puerto rico uh, so this could still be making a run for a cat two hurricane as it approaches jamaica and then the gfs model rapidly has this storm weakening into most likely a low wind tropical storm 
storm, upper echelon, tropical depression, making landfall in the Yucatan. And then after that, watch what the GFS does because we have that blocking high pressure over Missouri that's going to be giving us our severe weather as we go into next week. The GFS just kind of keeps it in the Gulf of Mexico until the high pressure eventually leaves and then it throws it into Texas. Uh, I don't think that's a possibility at this point. We'll monitor it um, just in case you never know. Let's go ahead and take a look at the intensity guidance here. So this is your intensity guidance uh, provided by Tropical Tidbits. And you can notice, look at that. Look at all the intensity guidance. Most of our intensity guidance has us being a category three hurricane. Uh, that's where your majority of your uh, your intensity forecast star is uh, really a mid-tier category three. Uh, it, at the smallest, I mean, at the weakest, an upper echelon category two hurricane. I don't think this will be making a run for a Cat 4. Um, if it manages to get a last wind out of the rapid intensification, maybe it can push Maybe it can push towards a Cat 4, uh, but I don't see that being a possibility. But then again, 24 hours ago, I didn't see this becoming a major hurricane, and here we are. Uh, so we'll keep a very close eye on it. You never know. Uh, here is your GFS Ensemble Models. Uh, again, uh, look at that. Look at all the yellow here and the orange. That is signaling to at least a Category 2, Category 3. Again, maybe we'll push Category 4 status on this system as it moves west of the Lesser Antilles. I think the uh, I think the peak intensity of this storm will be south of Puerto Rico, west of the Lesser Antilles, but it's still going to be, uh, if not a high-end Cat 2, a major hurricane over the Lesser Antilles, but then it might still strengthen a little bit more south of Puerto Rico. So Lesser Antilles, uh, we'll go over the watches. Uh, actually, right now I managed to miss those. Let's go back to the National Hurricane Center so I can show you guys that. Uh, here is the watches and warnings. Let me move you guys over a little bit. So we do have tropical storm watches out there in the yellow. Uh, that includes a little bit of Southern Lesser Antilles, and I believe that's portions of Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago's. I may be wrong on that. You guys are very welcome to fact check me on that. I'm probably dead wrong. Uh, there's your tropical storm force winds right now. Look how small that is. Gracious day. I think that's about 45 miles north from the center. Uh, and then in the pink here, in the pink, we have hurricane watches. So those are hurricane watches. Remember about, geez, uh, 24, 48 hours ago, I told you guys to prepare for tropical storm, maybe even category one hurricane impacts in the southern Lesser Antilles. You need, you now need to prepare for category three major hurricane impacts so we could have significant storm surge, significant damaging winds, and significant flash flooding with this system. Now, I haven't taken a look at these other products just yet because this advisor just came out. Uh, here is the rainfall forecast which currently they're not forecasting too much rainfall. Looks about to be six to eight inches of rainfall in portions of the southern Lesser Antilles, uh, so we'll keep an eye on that rainfall forecast. Uh, it is probably going to increase. I imagine we're going to see more than that uh, widespread along the southern Lesser Antilles, but we'll just keep an eye on it and see what that ends up being. Uh, here's your wind speed history, so just a small track of tropical storm force winds, and then your wind speed probabilities. This is tropical storm force wind speeds. I'm going to move my face cam to the bottom left for you guys. So probability of tropical storm force wind speeds 80% along this entire area, and it will Will increase. This will change and it will increase. We are going to see some purple get included as this system rapidly intensifies. Uh, I would say it's going to really rapidly intensify, like I said, late tonight into tomorrow night as well. Uh, and your hurricane probabilities at the moment, those are sitting around a 20, 30, sometimes even pushing that 40%. Uh, the 40% mark there. Uh, but again, that will increase as this system intensifies. It's just there's still a little bit of uncertainties exactly where those hurricane probabilities will be. Uh, but we should see hurricane force winds along this general vicinity of the southern Les Antilles, Lesser Antilles. So keep an eye on that. Very, very closely want to watch that. Uh, here is Radar Omega. We'll look at the intensity of this storm. So currently it is around a 998 millibar tropical storm with wind speeds of 65 miles per hour. It is borderline hurricane and will become a hurricane late tonight right around the 8 o'clock advisory uh, with wind speeds around 80 miles per hour, max wind gusts of 100. Continue to rapidly intensify into sustained wind speeds of 100 by the time we go into tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. with some gusts upwards of 120. Tomorrow night we'll be looking at 110 mile an hour winds with max gust of 130 and then again continuing to rapidly intensify into that major hurricane status with minimum, maximum, or what did I just say? Minimum
minimum sustained wind speeds of 115 miles per hour, max gust of 140. And then again, uh, it should maintain, if not strengthen, just a little bit as it goes south of Puerto Rico, then begin to weaken as it approaches Jamaica. And then, like I said, beyond really south of the Dominican Republic, southwest of Puerto Rico, beyond this general point here, there is a lot of uncertainties. You can see how wide that cone gets from the National Hurricane Center. Very wide cone because there's a lot of uncertainty. Like I said, right here, there is a bunch of uncertainty on exactly what this system is going to do. Do. Uh, but once again, just a quick recap, rapid intensification of Tropical Storm Barrel is really ongoing now and should continue until at minimum tomorrow night where it will eventually become a major hurricane and impact the southern Lesser Antilles on, I believe, July 1st here. Yep, July 1st with major hurricane force wind speeds, storm surge, and significant rainfall totals. Then it will progress to the westward, possibly intensifying a little bit further south of Puerto Rico, and then begin to weaken as it approaches Jamaica, where after that there is just a bunch of uncertainty on exactly where this system will go. We are about 11 minutes into this video. I wanted to keep it a little bit on the shorter side of things. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you found this informative, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button and share the stream. I said stream. Share the video with your family friends and on social media to help spread weather awareness and i will see you guys in today's live stream right around 4 p.m eastern uh, there's a chance that will be pushed back but i may even do two live streams today one from four o'clock to 5 5 30 and then a second one from 7 30 to 8 30 once that new advisory comes out so be on the lookout for that i plan for multiple live streams multiple coverage streams for this hurricane uh in terms of severe weather i guess we could just really very briefly go over that there's not much uh activity we've got a slight risk today tornadoes wind and hail will all be on the table hail being the less uh, the less threat Tomorrow, 2% tornado risk in the northeast. Uh, wind threat will be the biggest issue. Isolated large hail up towards Montana. Day three, we've got a slight risk for severe weather. All hazards should be possible, focused in Nebraska, but also South Dakota and into North Dakota. Still have that day four risk from the Storm Prediction Center now over Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, and Nebraska. That's about as far in depth as I'm going to go into the severe weather. Just show you guys those SPC outlooks. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, watch severe weather in the tropics. Goodbye.